Congratulations on making it to the semifinals. How did you celebrate yesterday? And what does it mean to, for you to continue to represent Oklahoma in this contest? Thank you very much, first and foremost. Um, so yeah, yesterday after we finished the taping for the Boat Reveal and Everything, my team and I went out and we got some delicious Indian food. Come on, chicken tikka masala, lamb vindaloo, let's go. Ate so well, ate so well. Um, but yeah, I mean, just moving on, representing Oklahoma, but also, you know, the K-pop community, the K-pop industry. Uh, I'm just very grateful for this opportunity. And I hope that, you know, the people that I represent, I continue to do a good job to make them proud. Yeah, you definitely are. And you discovered K-pop after a school assignment, and now you're one of the faces of this <laughs> genre. Has anything surprised you about this journey thus far? I mean, everything is a surprise. Every moment in this career so far has been a learning opportunity. You know, it's things I wouldn't have known, wouldn't experienced had I not become a K-pop artist. But I mean, I think if anything really big were to stick out to me, it's just how much of an impact we actually have on people's lives. You know, it's it's quite heartwarming to see how many people we can positively affect as an artist, not just K-pop, but as an artist in general. So that's something I really take away from this career. You're such a trailblazer and you've had so much success already in your young career. When you look back, is there a moment that stands out to you? Oh boy. I mean, you know, because I'm clearly just someone that just got into the industry, I die. Wow. Reflecting on my career as a K-pop artist, I think one of the biggest things that stuck out to me was probably my first performance after I debuted in Singapore at camp. That was my first audience I ever had after debut. That was my first foreign audience. And to this day, I still remember it like it was yesterday. It was just such a vivid memory for me. Imagine that you've written hundreds of songs throughout your career. What was the process like deciding what would be your song for American Song Contest? Mm, for Wonderland, it was a large collaborative team effort. I mean, there were so many like music industry mega minds behind this. I mean, like we have Kazi and Ellen from like, Echo, they make up this amazing team that's done a lot of my discography in the past. We also have Ivan, Andreas Carlson, and also Becca Boom, the legendary Becca Boom, who's written a lot for Blackpink. I mean, this was a whole collaborative effort. And then, of course, me being a K pop artist who wanted to represent Korean culture a little bit. So we threw some Korean lyrics in there just to spice it up. But yeah. Wonderland is a metaphor for the people in your life who have shaped the artist that you are today. What does it mean to you to get to say thank you on a platform like American Song Contest? It just absolutely just warms my soul because before uh, we wound up shooting yesterday, my mother sent me a text message from one of my old ballet teachers from when I was like two years old. So apparently she's been watching the show, keeping up with me, and it just really made me so happy. I wanted to cry, but I could not cry yet because we still had to film. But it was just so heartwarming to see that these people that literally were with me from when I was a child have still been following my journey through adulthood and are still positively impacting my life to this day. You're the definition of an artist. You've created these immersive narratives with your lyrics and paired them with these breathtaking visuals in your music videos and performances. As you're working on a new song, are you thinking about all the creative elements that you're planning on incorporating? And what was that process like for this competition and creating that show-stopping performance you gave? Thank you very much for the question. I mean, as it is, Wonderland itself does exist within the Alexaverse, if you will. I mean, even before I debuted, my company had like my first three comebacks planned with a storyline and everything. We love to get into lore and like the whole storyline aspect of things and just you know, my overall concept is AI multiverse. So different storylines, different points of existence. There's so many possibilities and we just love to unlock new doors and see what can be done next of the Alexa universe. If you had to pick one, one of your songs that best encompasses who you are as an artist, which would it be and why? Oh, that is a wonderful question that I need to think about. But off the top of my head, if I were to say one, I want to say maybe Bomb, because it's my debut song. And right off the bat, it shows you, hey, I've got power. I'm, I'm here to slay. And I'm just ready to take on the world. So yeah. And it's been a while since you've had the opportunity to perform in front of a live audience with the pandemic. Were there any nerves heading into your performance? And what are kind of your pre-show rituals? 
Oh my God. So from like practicing until like the first camera rehearsal, I was completely fine. I'm like, no, I've, I've done this before. I'm not nervous. But then the day of the actual show, when there was a live audience and everything, I heard everyone screaming and I saw people standing and immediately my heart was just like racing out of my chest. I was not ready because it's such a crazy thing because, you know, of course, due to the pandemic, we haven't had live, live audiences in so long. And, you know, even though I am an extrovert and I love to get energy from other people, like most artists and performers do, I guarantee you that I'll say that. But it was just so scary because it's the first time you're actually having people watch you with their eyes and not through a screen and hearing you sing through their ears and not through like headphones and everything. But it was definitely a little scary. I definitely said my prayers beforehand, did some breathing exercises, drank some water. But yeah, I was scared, but I'm very happy with how the performance went. You set the bar so high for yourself after that first performance. How are you preparing for the semifinals? What can your fans and audiences expect? Oh, well, hopefully, you know, bigger and better is what we're striving for, whether it's like changing choreography, changing stage outfit, who knows if the hair is still going to be blue for that. But you just want to keep showing you something new and fresh every time. Expect the unexpected is my favorite motto. What would you say is the biggest lesson that you've learned being a part of this process thus far that you're going to bring to the rest of your career? Oh boy, I mean, I feel like not just in my case, but any artist in general, whether it's K-pop or Western, you know, I feel like never giving up is a really major, I guess, value that you need to keep in your brain and in your heart the whole time in your career, because there will be hard times, but you know, Granted, I would not consider myself like, oh, I made it. No, I don't consider myself there yet. But, you know, you're taking steps to get where you want to be. And I feel like as long as you never give up and have that persistence and that drive within your heart, that'll take you to where you want to be.